Today we are starting on a new project that I have been planning for quite a while now. We are going to be taking this 1967 Sherwood tent trailer and trying to convert it into eventually a cool off-road trailer to tow behind the S10. I purchased this trailer for $300. Now it took me quite a while to find a trailer under $500 that actually had a title. This thing was roadworthy enough that I was able to go buy it and tow it back to my house. And when it comes to off-road or overland trailers, you get a lot of options. Depending on what you want, how much you want to spend, there are super simple basic trailers that you can throw a rooftop tent on. Um, these overland vehicle system basic trailers are about $5,000. It has some storage and a rack to mount your rooftop tent. And then you can go all the way up to a $35,000 mammoth overland trailer and that has everything you could ever want and of course there's everything in between for me i'm going to be running a rooftop tent on mine so i will be looking at building something like this eight thousand dollar smitty built scout trailer which is still pretty basic but has some cool features i'll be basing this trailer around a four person hard shell rooftop tent that i was using on the montero for a while it's large it has the insulation kit and a huge awning that zips into the door which i really like the goal of today is we are going to be stripping down this old tent trailer um, and get it down to the frame because I don't need any of this other stuff except for the frame. I bought this with a title uh, and I just got it transferred over to my name so now I can officially start working on it knowing that I can get it licensed and tabbed in my state. Uh, this tent trailer has already been gutted. Uh, the guy I bought it from, uh, he just used it for storage for his camping gear, and that was it, just to keep his stuff dry. And as you can see with these guys right here, these bars, he had a canoe that he would take off and uh, that he put on here, and then the storage in the front, which I think I'm actually going to keep this. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, probably not for the trailer, but it's a nice old military box. Um, but this whole thing has to get completely disassembled. I want to do it. Uh, with the least amount of work possible to get down to the frame. So I know that uh, we'll take these lid pieces off. It's just a bunch of Phillips head screws. And then I gotta get underneath and see how this tub frame is bolted to the actual frame of the trailer. Once, you get, once we get it down to the actual frame itself, we can evaluate how we're going to reinforce the frame, rebuild it, figure out how big we're gonna make it, and uh, actually figure out what we're going to do. But for right now, for today, we're going to be stripping this down to the front. So we are four, eight, 12 bolts away from unbolting this whole tub from the frame of this trailer. The bolts on, on the top side here have barbs on them and go into the wood. So when you tighten them down, it sinks it down into the wood and makes it tight. But when you try and loosen it, when everything's all worn out and rusted and the wood's rotted, uh, you can see like right here, it just spins. So that's not good and it's going to be hard to 
unbolt these. So I think the easiest, uh, the easiest way to do this is to just, uh, on these longer ones right here, is we can just cut the bolts in half, which will be four of them, and then the rest of them, uh, I'm just, I'm gonna try them first to see if I can loosen them, but if not, I'll just cut the head off the bolt. It's kind of a pain, it's just part of the territory when you're working on something old like this. Ooh, that one worked. Got lucky. Okay, so we got, uh, I think, everything we need to uh, unbolt this directly from the frame. Uh, there's a lot of wood and a lot of sheet metal here, so it's probably going to be heavier than I want it to be. Um, there was some extra bolts and stuff that we had to get that were over there by the door to keep the door square and everything, so it has more, more reinforcement on that side. But let's see, it's pretty heavy. It feels like it's disconnected. Let's go check uh, over here. I think this part right here is part of the frame, which is unfortunate because it looks like we have to lift this whole thing up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this off as low to here as possible so we can actually, I don't have to lift this whole body up and over this whole piece. That's going to make it a lot easier where I can just kind of lift it up a little bit and kind of shimmy it down. this registration from 2019 it's actually not that long ago So we got the trailer all the way down to the frame. I still need to clean the frame up, get it all prepped and everything. There's a bunch of stuff we need to cut off. We need to reinforce. We need, there's still like a ton of stuff to do. But uh, for right now, we need to figure out what kind of suspension we're gonna be putting on this. How wide, how long the frame is gonna be so I know where I'm gonna put all my suspension mounts and uh, all my gusseting and all my extra, um, gussets and brackets and stuff that's going to make this thing a lot stiffer and uh, sturdier than it currently is right now. It actually is fairly sturdy of a frame. It's definitely a step up from like the Harbor Freight uh, like folding trailer frame. This is definitely a lot sturdier and a lot more beefy than that is just right out the gate. So this frame is four feet four inches wide and it is eight feet long. So I think eight feet is probably too long for what I wanna do, but I'm not really sure yet. So I gotta get it down on pen and paper, figure out what things I wanna have in uh, the trailer. Starting at the front here, we're gonna be redoing all this and then this all is gonna get cut off and redone. But uh, the trailer overall is not really bad. It's pretty stout and beefy. It's got these cross members, it's got three cross members right here. Good bones to start with for sure. So I have suspension parts left over from my Jeep uh, when I 
uh, lengthened it. So I got these control arms that I've made. So I might be using, reusing some of this stuff to make like a, a radius arm link type system for the suspension. I'm not sure yet. I have Mitsubishi Montero coil springs. So I think I'm gonna use a combination of like a radius arm three link type thing uh, with uh, Mitsubishi Montero coil springs holding up the suspension. And then I have a pile of, uh, I have Fox shocks over here off of a JT. So I'm gonna cobble all this suspension stuff together. I'm just gonna have to build everything myself, but it's not gonna cost me almost anything besides a little bit of material. So I, I got super lucky. I got these from a friend from work. He had them in his backyard. I got a set of four, 35 of these mud terrains and uh, I got them for free. So these are a JK bolt pattern, which I think is a five on five. So I'm just gonna get a JK hub and then build everything off of that. And then in the back, um, we're gonna have, this is the stuff out of my S10, but we're gonna have probably the sto same storage bins. It'll slide out the back or it might slide out the side, depending on the length of the trailer. I'm not really sure yet, but this is the fridge that we're gonna run in this. This is the Bouge RV, Bogue RV, I'm not really sure. Uh, this is the Rocky 50. This thing is pretty sweet. I've used it a couple times. It's got dual zones, so I can put ice cream in it. Uh, it's And it's fairly large, and it has an app that I can adjust the temperature from the campsite. Uh, without even having to get up to look at. So we're gonna have fridge, storage, and then we have batteries. Uh, I have a 100 amp hour battery, this one right here. And then we got two more in the box here. So I have three total, either two or one of them is gonna go in the S10 and one or two of them is gonna go in the trailer. I'm not sure yet based on room, I don't really know, but two are probably gonna go in the S10, one's gonna go in the trailer. And then uh, in the front here, we're going to have propane, water, uh, probably a slide out that comes out this way that's going to have the kitchen, and then a slide out on this side that's going to have the fridge. I'm not really sure yet. Like I said, I got to get the dimensions of this, figure out material, figure out what I can fit, and what systems we need to put on here or that we want to put on here. And then uh, I can make a design and figure out what I wanna do from there. So the first step is I gotta get the rooftop tent, get the measurements from it, figure out the mounting for that, how I'm gonna integrate it into this, get the dimensions of this, figure out uh, the frame of this, how I'm gonna basically build this frame out, and then we can go from there. So this is really important. I, I've never done this before, and I just, I'd like your guys' help. So any suggestions, any trailers that uh, you've seen that are really cool, send them my way, send me pictures, send me links, send me cool things or ideas that you guys would have for a trailer like this, things that you would wanna put on it, things that you wanna see, things that you want. You know, I'm, I'm open to a ton of ideas because I'm literally just building this in my head and now it's starting to uh, come to and I need to actually start putting things on paper, measurements, so I can buy materials and uh, stuff like that. So if you could leave that in the comment, email me, hit me up on Instagram or uh, Facebook. So I actually probably won't be working on this for a little bit because one, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do and two, the S10 needs a little bit of work. Uh, the heater doesn't work. Uh, it only blows cold air no matter what. I gotta tear the whole dash out to replace the blend motor that's way in the back. I gotta pull the whole dash out and I really don't wanna do it, but it's getting cold and I can't go snow wheeling or camping or do anything in the S10 if I don't have heat. So I gotta fix that. I still gotta build a rear bumper. I have everything to do that. So I might be building the rear bumper of the S10 cause that's gonna be a little bit quicker and easier than building out this whole trailer. So I'm just letting you know that it might be a little bit before we actually start building things on this trailer. With that being said, thanks for watching. Check me out on social media at Muddy Beards 4x4. We've got a website, got shirt stickers, stuff like that, muddybeards4x4.com. Make sure you check out Barnes Four Wheel Drive. We got a discount code. Get yourself 10% off uh, your purchase for your winter projects. So anyways, guys, we'll see you in the next one. We'll see you on the trail.